In this tutorial, we will discuss how to perform long ultrasound for pneumothorax. This study is obtained using the linear or vascular probe or a high frequency probe. You will place the probe in the anterior chest wall just at the mid clavicular line, probe marker towards the patient's head. Usually you can start between the second and third intercost intercostal space in a supine patient. The anatomical landmark that you're trying to identify on ultrasound is two ribs which are marked as hyperechoic with posterior black shadow and the pleural line in between the two ribs. This is a normal pleura. Note that the pleura is sliding with these straight comitale artifacts originating from the pleura. The presence of normal lung sliding rules out pneumothorax. You can also document lung sliding using M mode or motion mode. Using M mode cursor, place it just crossing the pleural line and click on M mode again. The M mode will demonstrate any motion that goes through the ultrasound cursor. So this is the corresponding M mode of a normal lung sliding. Note that the upper part of the above the pleura, there is no movement and there is straight lines. And just below the pleura, there is this motion artifact. This image is known as the seashore sign, which rules out pneumothorax. Make sure when you perform the ultrasound study for pneumothorax, you place your probe on the chest and your probe has to be very, very still because you're evaluating for lung sliding and any motion of the hand can actually help cause misinterpretation of the ultrasound findings.